When he released the video of his first test flight on his flyboard air, former French jet ski champion Frankie Zapata was initially accused of staging a hoax. And it's no surprise given the extraordinary look of his hoverboard. On his new prototype, recently demoed over Barcelona's old harbour, Zapata has replaced the water jets with jet turbine engines. He claims it's able to fly up to 3,000 metres with speeds topping 150 kilometres an hour. By leaning my body on the front or on the back or on the left or on the right, just, I, just by doing this I control the direction but also the, the stability. So it's mean like if I go in this way, I have just to, to move my body and to replace my center of gravity. And uh, because the thrust of the board going through the gravity point, it puts you on the gravity point. So if you move your leg like this, the gravity point is on the board. If you are perfectly rigid, the gravity point is on your body, on your, around your stomach. So just by moving the point you want, you have just a gravity point. It looks like hard but it's what you do every day when you walk, so it's something extremely intuitive. While the flyboard air has drawn some enthusiastic reviews, others have expressed safety concerns, saying that the failure of a jet engine or a miscalculation in fuel load could endanger the user. The device is said to have an autonomy of 10 minutes and is heavily loaded with technical equipment. In my helmet, we have one system that is above my eyes that we program. Uh, we buy the system, but it's an open source program, so some of my engineers will program it, so I can see the time, the speed, the altitude, but also if something happens, I have one light, so and I know exactly if it's from the engine or, or if it, the electronics coming too hot. Each flyboard is equipped with four 250 horsepower turbo engines, fueled by kerosene carried in a tank strapped to the rider's back. Riders use a hand remote to control the engine's throttle. This machine, like it is, at the, at, the, um, at the time we will do all the redundancy and all the reliability tests, could be helpful for many things like uh, maintenance, safety, army, all these kind of things. After to, to put this machine in the end of everybody in the world, I think it's like it is today is impossible, like it will be in a few, few months. It will be possible in, in certain conditions with a very high-level people with mechanics and everything, like special people. The device recently won Zapata a Guinness World Record for the farthest flight by hoverboard. He was credited with covering a distance of some 2,200 meters with an average speed between 50 and 60 kilometers an hour. It won't be seen on the market anytime soon though, pending legal approval and many more test flights to ensure it is safe for users.